Hello everyone, my name is Dale Kirby. I'm a cloud solution architect with Microsoft. And I'd like to demo today how we can integrate Azure Key Vault with Azure Arc enabled servers. We can see in this resource group that I've got two resources. One is an Azure Arc enabled server called arc-ec2-demo. And the other is an Azure Key Vault called KV Arc Demo 12345. So this Azure Arc enabled server, as the name might imply, is actually an EC2 instance. So if I click over to my EC2 console, you can see that this is a server that's running in AWS EC2. This particular server is running Ubuntu. And I've already gone ahead and projected this server as the Azure Arc enabled server resource by deploying the connected machine agent onto that server. So that server is running in EC2, but it's projected into Azure as a first class Azure resource. And because of that, I can do things like deploy the eVault virtual machine extension onto the server and have that virtual machine extension automatically rotate keys or certificates down from the key vault. So if I go ahead and open the key vault, there's a couple of things I wanna show. First is under certificates, we can see that I've got an existing certificate, Arc Demo Cert 1. It's thumbprint here, which we'll use to compare uh, later when we check to make sure the certificate rotation is working. And so this is what I'll be rotating down to my server. Another thing I need to configure is the access policy. So what I need to do is set up a new access policy that allows the Azure Arc enabled servers system managed identity to access the key vault. So I'll go ahead and click add access policy. Under secret permissions, I'll add git and list permissions. And this is to make sure that the, um, the server can access both the public and private keys of my certificate. And then I'll also go ahead and under select principle, I'll search for the name of the Arc enabled server. We see it right here. And so this is the, the, the system managed identity principle of my Azure Arc enabled server. I'll select that. I'll click add and I'll click save. And so now I've got a new policy uh, under my key vault that will allow the Azure Arc enabled server again through this system managed identity to access the on the server. So my next step, now that I've got the key vault set up correctly, uh, is to go ahead and deploy the virtual machine extension on the server. And so to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up a console. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize the browser there for a second. And I'm gonna run a command line script. And so in this script, before I go ahead and, and, and run it, let's walk through what it's doing. So this is Azure CLI. And through CLI, I'm gonna run AZ connected machine extension create command. So to create a new virtual machine extension on a Azure Arc enabled server. Some of the parameters include the resource group, the name of the server, the location, the publisher. You notice I'm passing a specific type of key vault since this is an Ubuntu server. I need to give it key vault for Linux as the type, key vault for Linux as the name. And then I'm passing some specific uh, settings to the extension to make sure that it's going to set up that, that extension properly. So I'll be pulling the key vault every minute. I'll be dropping the certificates that I'm pulling down into this path on my server, at ETC SSL certs. I'm gonna be observing the certificate that we saw earlier. So that's the name of my key vault, slash secret slash arc demo cert one. And then I'm passing a specific authentication setting uh, called MSI endpoint to have the arc connected uh, to have the arc enabled server properly access the key vault through uh, this special arc endpoint. And so with all that, let me go ahead and hit enter. We'll go ahead and start running the command and that'll start the deployment. Let's give that just a minute to run. Okay, it looks like our VM extension has finished deploying. It's in uh, provisioning state succeeded, so hopefully everything working. Test that. What we'll do is we'll now SSH into the server and we will check to see if it dropped the certificate into the path that we configured the VM extension 
Juice. All Juice. Go LS. And there at the bottom, we can see our certificate name right there. It's the same format uh, for the file is the name of the key vault dot and then the name of the certificate. I'll go ahead and I'll copy that name. And now what I'll do is I'll configure an Nginx server to use that certificate to protect HTTPS traffic. So let's edit the Nginx configuration file. You can see in this file, I've got a pretty basic configuration. And on these two lines, I'm going to paste in the path for the certificate that we have the VM extension rotating down. So that looks good. Go ahead and write that file out. And as a last step, I'll restart uh, the Nginx service. So if everything worked, what I should be able to do now is open a browser and access my, grab the right path server, go to the EC2 instance and just copy the DNS name, go back to my browser. And so since this is a self-signed certificate, uh, Internet Explorer is complaining that my connection isn't private, and that's because it's self-signed. But what we want to do is just check that the certificate is being used on the server. And so I'll go ahead and I'll click on the certificate here, and I'll go on to details and scroll down and just check the thumbprint. We can see the thumbprint is starts with 76F11E966. What I can do is just cross-reference that against the certificate in Key Vault. So if I check certificate, you should see the thumbprint is 76F11E966. So this seems like this is the same certificate and it seems like everything's working. So what we showed today is how we can deploy the Key Vault virtual machine extension on a Azure Arc enabled server resource to rotate certificates. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.